Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about the mean in survival analysis and also the restricted mean and the median. So with regards to the mean, it seems that no one talks about the mean in survival analysis. And in other fields of statistics, usually what you uh, are looking for is the mean. It's a very important quantity. But in survival analysis, uh, it's not often used. And what is often reported is either the median or even more often some uh, X year survival rates, so for example, a five year survival rate. And why is that? Well, one reason is that the median is less sensitive to outliers, but this is true in all fields of statistics, right? So for example, here we have time. Um, and so if we have a group that of survivors that survived a very long time, they will pool the mean towards them, they will make the mean larger than the median, and maybe it's not very informative for us. Um, but still, uh, it can still be informative uh, in some cases. And so I don't think this truly explains why the mean is not often used. Probably a better explanation is the distinction between parametric and non-parametric uh, modeling and survival analysis. So if we assume a parametric model, after we fit it, uh, we can easily find the mean, right? So for example, if we assume an exponential distribution, then we can fit it like we did in a previous video. It's very easy. And then um, once we have estimated the parameter, the lambda, the mean in this case is just one over this estimation. But usually we are not truly sure about the parametric model. And often we use a non-parametric model, for example, we estimate a survival function using a Kaplan-Meier non-parametric uh, estimation. So if we have the survival function, we said that the survival function completely describes the distribution, right? The survival is just one minus the CDF. So if you have the survival, you have the CDF, you have the PDF, and you can get the mean, no problem. And so if we believe that our, for example, Kaplan-Meier curve approximates the true survival, then we can use that to find the mean, for example, using the tail formula, right? So the tail formula, and since our variable here is time, it's non-negative, we can only use the non-negative part. It's this thing, uh, but this is exactly the survival. So basically it's just the integral of the survival curve, right? The problem is with Kaplan-Meier that it only goes until the last data point that you have. So for example, here is an example of a Kaplan-Meier curve that I created. And you can see it doesn't go to zero. In the last survival point, uh, the last data point that we had was some censoring and it didn't go to zero, right? It didn't go to zero. It stayed a little bit over 0 0.2. And after that, well, we don't know what's going on after that. So um, for the Kaplan-Meier sake, it just goes straight, right? But uh, in reality, of course, we assume that the survival drops to zero uh, given enough time. So in the infinite, the survival function has to go down to zeros in order for it to be a valid uh, distribution, a valid survival function. So with Kaplan-Meier, we cannot really talk about the true mean. We cannot talk about the taking the area under this curve, the integral, um, up to infinity, because we don't know what's going on after after this point. So instead we can talk about a restricted mean. What does it mean? It means we are taking the mean up to some point. So we're taking the integral, not up to infinity, but up to some point. And usually we will take it up to our last data point, but we can also choose where to take it. Yeah, we can take the integral up to one, up to one and a half, up to five, whatever we want. And so the only thing we need to do in order to calculate the restricted mean is to take the integral or the area under this curve of the Kaplan-Meier. And again, if I take it after the last point, then I just assume that the line continues straight. And what about the median? Well, the median, um, again, if you use non-parametric, for example, this Kaplan-Meier, you just draw a line in the 0 0.5, you see where it intersects with your curve, and then you draw a vertical line down, and this is the median according to the Kaplan-Meier curve. So 50% of the subjects survived up to um, this time. And so this is the median time. Of course, there could be situations where the Kaplan-Meier curve doesn't go 
below 0.5. And then you cannot calculate a non-parametric median. So what can you do? Well, you can either choose another quantile, for example, 0.75, if, if the Kaplan-Meier does go below 0.75. You can report the restricted mean, or you can fit a parametric model and then report the mean or the median of that parametric model. So let me switch into R and I show you a little bit of code. So here I'm generating this Kaplan-Meier curve. And if I choose to print this Kaplan-Meier and I set that I also wanted to pre print restricted mean, you can see it will uh, print this restricted mean over here. And what it is, it's just the area under the curve until the last point. So I can also calculate it manually. I can, technically this curve just goes in steps. So I can just take the small intervals and then uh, multiply them by their height and get the area under this curve. And this is what I did here. And you can see I'm getting exactly the same result. But we can also choose a different cutoff point. So for example, this is how it is with the regular uh, cutoff point, which is just the last time in our data. But we can, let's say, add another two. OK, and you can see that it gives us exactly the same yeah, as if I would take the previous one and just add two times this uh, value over here, right? So this value over here is 0 0.2 something, right? Let's see, 0 0.234. And so if we just take two times that, it just adds it to the restricted mean. So we see that uh, the default for Kaplan-Meier is that if we take a restricted uh, value that is above the last point, it just thinks it's a straight line and just continues it as a straight line. Now, if I want to plot the median, there's actually a better way to do this using uh, the library ServeMiner. If I plot this now with this ggserve plot, and I just say serve median line, and I say both horizontal and vertical, then it plots it like this. And it's very visible where the uh, median is. And if I do it just horizontal, it's just like this. If I do it just vertical. Okay, so let's see an example where the Kaplan-Meier doesn't go below 0 0.5. Okay, and now look, if we print the restricted mean, we see that the median, it gives us uh, not available or, yeah, but it can still give you a restricted mean. Okay, so it can still uh, produce a restricted mean, which is just the area under the curve uh, up to the last data point. And what we can also do is, for example, fit a parametric model. So here I will fit a Vibool uh, parametric regression. It doesn't matter how exactly I will, I will cover this in a future video. Yeah, but I can calculate the mean of this parametric model. And I can also plot it and uh, look at the median. Or I can also calculate the median in other ways. Yeah. OK, so this is all for this video. Hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one.